Hey guys, Ken Stretz, Stretz Tactical. So a wintertime concealed carry tip for you, okay? Um, so I carry my gun all year round appendix, whether I have a uh, SIG P365 in a, like a belly band, if I'm gonna go running something like that, or uh, the rest of the time, I got my Glock 19 in a Kydex uh, holster. Uh, it, my gun's always appendix, right? So I got the same draw stroke outside of my duty gun, which is uh, at three o'clock in, in a duty holster, retention holster you got to think about what you're wearing, where you're carrying, how fast it is to access your gun, right? And you got to practice with it. You know, before you leave in the morning, get some dry reps in. If you have time, and also times you're running late or whatever, but check it out, right? So this jacket here, I'm going to move up close to the camera. It's very slick. So if I didn't get down low enough on it, let's just say I kind of went too, too high up to grab my, my garment to pull up for appendix. Because it's slick, I could end up not getting a good grasp on it, and my fingers could slide off. Now, I got some stuff in the pockets here that might make it easier. Obviously, I want to reach down low to be able to clear the garment uh, over the gun. Uh, and then we got the next issue, right? So, again, it's like 42 degrees, something like that out here. So I got a t-shirt on, right? Uh, and there's my gun, and then I got a jacket. So I got a long sleeve t-shirt and a jacket so carrying it like this i need to if if i get the jacket out of the way and now i come in with my dominant hand i'm going to get a handful of shirt so there's two options here one either tuck in the shirt before you leave home whatever tucking because you know it's cold out and you're going to have your jacket on tuck the shirt in good right now i just kind of tuck tucked it in just to show you but really tuck it in good if you got to stick it down in your underwear and just pull and whatever uh, to make sure when you go to grab the gun, when you go to draw, you don't get a handful of shirt, right? And then you could bumble your draw, maybe drop your gun. So either really tuck that gun or that t-shirt in behind the gun, tuck it in your underwear, make sure it's good all the way around because as the day goes on, it's going to move, especially if you're sitting in a car, you're getting in and out of the car, maybe you're getting gas, you're on a long trip, whatever the deal is. Or I can just go t-shirt only or sweatshirt if that's what I had on uh, underneath the jacket and unzip the jacket so now the only thing i gotta worry about is my shirt all right but currently with this jacket again it's a little bit longer than than waist length it's a little bit slick again having something in my pocket could kind of help if i if i went a little too high didn't come down low enough to kind of get the jacket out of the way but now i still got the shirt in the way as well so if you're layering your clothing for winter time you got to make sure you can access your gun. So think about it. Do do dry reps of your different outfits at home. You know, you, you are a fashion slave to concealed carry, right? The gun's got to be concealed and it's got to be accessible, right? You can't be printing. You know, that's why I like to call my classes uh, covert carry versus concealed carry because nobody should know you're wearing it, right? You know, summertime, we've all probably seen the guy with the Glock, you know, 19 or 26 with a leather pancake and a t-shirt over it. And, you know, Ray Charles could tell there's a gun under there. So you got to be able to conceal it. Nobody should know you have a firearm on you. And I'm not even getting into the the debate on open carry, right? It, you know, with everything going on in 2020, there's a time and a place for open carry, you know, defending your businesses and stuff like that uh, during civil unrest. But, you know, I think going to Walmart or Starbucks, you know, you don't need an AR slung across your back and your 1911 on your, your hip for everyone to see. People have had their guns taken from them. You need to conceal your gun. That's just my take on it. You know, what you do is, you know, is, is your business. But um, so there's your wintertime concealed carry tip for you. Train hard, stay safe, and I'll see you on the range.